Okay, so now we're going to make a drone kit script, which is going to actually send velocity commands to the drone to move in various directions. And we're going to take the old file named takeoff and land, and we're going to copy that. And we're going to name the new file setvelocitybody.py. So we'll just type cp and then take off and land and then the new file name. And then again, we'll use our VI text editor and type the new file name that we just created, set velocity body, and we'll go ahead and press enter. Okay, and we have to import another package in this script. So at the very top, we'll type from pymavlink import mavutil. That's because we'll be sending a mavlink message to our firmware from our drone kit script. So here we're going to make a new function called setVelocityBody, and it's going to take three arguments. There will be a one velocity component for each of the dimensions in 3D space. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a mavlink message, and we're going to feed in those velocity numbers that we fed into this function. And so here we go. We have vx, vy, and vz there that we're going to a package up in our own Mavlink message that we're creating. And then we're going to send that message to our drone, to the underlying uh, firmware that is Artipilot, and then Artipilot will digest that Mavlink message that we sent to it. So basically this script is just communicating with our firmware via Mavlink. Okay, now let's delete some of the lines from the old script that we don't need anymore. Okay, now let's tell the drone to arm and take off, and let's have it go to four meters in the air. That'll be 12 feet for you Americans. And I'm an American, so I can talk the meaning to Americans. I think that's how that works. So now our drone is hovering in the air. Now let's get it to move with that set velocity body function that we just created. Now let's... So what we want to do is have the drone fly in a particular direction for a couple of seconds. So here, let's focus on this first while block. So counter is equal to zero. In each iteration, we're adding one to counter, and we're sleeping for one second. So after two seconds, this while block will break, and we'll stop sending velocity components to our drone. But you'll see every iteration, we're going to use the set velocity body function and we're feeding in a one to where vx is, and that's a positive one. So the x dimension is the north and south line of the drone, and positive numbers will tell the drone to move north, and negative numbers will tell the drone to move south. So in this case, the drone is going to move north for a couple of seconds, and then once counter is not less than two, this while block will break, and then we'll, we'll run this same block of code, only we'll change that one to a minus one so now we'll be moving in the other direction we'll be moving south and we'll have to reset counter to zero every time we go into a new while block now let's do this again let's make the drone now move in the west and east direction that'll be vy and with vy a positive number is going to tell the drone to move east and a negative number will have the drone move west so here we have a 1, so the drone's going to move to the east. And now this while block is a negative number in the VY component. So now the drone is going to move to the west. And then after those four bits of velocity commands have been executed and the while blocks are done, we'll just prompt the drone to go to, into the RTL flight mode. So it'll just fly to the predetermined height and then try to land where it launched from. Now let's put some time.sleep uh, lines for one second in between all of the while blocks, and that'll just have the drone pause a little bit so that we can ease, more easily tell when the drone changes directions. And then WQ, and then hit enter. Now again, I definitely, definitely need to remind you to always leash your drone. Always leash your drone. I know you might think, you know, you've ran that script a couple times and, you know, it's fine, the drone won't fly into space. No, at some point, if you don't leash your drone, it'll try and fly to space and you might be screwed. Add a big old weight to a string and then tie that string to your drone and then run this function. 
Then again, we'll have our RC controller in our hand just in case we need to prompt it into RTL mode on our own. But now let's go ahead and launch this script. We'll type Python and then the name of the script we want to run, set velocity body. We'll type dash dash connect and then the IP address of our drone and the port number. So this is the IP address and port number that our drone is listening on. So we, we would go out to a field and then hit enter, making sure that there's nothing remotely close to where the drone might be flying. All right, we'll hit enter and here's my RC controller I'll be just walking around with as the script is running. And you can see the console output in the top right screen. Here I'm just going to hold the string of the vehicle in case it goes crazy and I need to reel back my dog or my drone from attacking people. Now it's going to the north for a couple seconds. Now it's flying to the south. Now it's flying to the east. And out of frame, it's flying to the west. And it's simply landing now. So there we go. Easy enough. And you could see like the the string didn't really interfere with the drone whatsoever so it's a safety precaution that you should definitely take I cannot emphasize that enough I think in this video the drone was running a script that actually had a target altitude of 2 and the vehicle mode at the end of the script was land instead of RTL but it'll work all the same